Yeah, the storage box is awesome. It's realistic enough to where it, it the immersion factor is through the roof, but it's also useful enough where it's not like stupid. What's up, Amazon survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Green Hell. And I am back with the old webcam. This will be the last one with the webcam. Uh, if you guys like the webcam, you hate it, you don't care about it either way, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Um, I do like doing it from time to time. So, all right, guys. So, we're going to do some base building today. We're going to get into the mud. We're going to get down and dirty into the mud. It's going to be awesome. Uh, first thing I have to do right now is grab this cooking pot and put it under here for more water um there's a lot of different things you can you can make in this game to gather water for yourself and i might build a lot of them but the main was made with mud i can't wait to make the, that mud thing i forget what it's called it's like some kind of mud water gathering thing it's freaking sweet oh cool i didn't even know that would go on the grill that's nice put that right there that's the dry leaves for me to make more fire okay so as you can see here i have parasites i ate while i was dirty you know, uh, kids, wash your hands. Wash your hands or you're going to get parasites. Um, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go out and do a little bit of exploration. I'm going to look for some mushrooms or there's some like green fruits out there or something that um, might be able to cure parasites. Uh, I don't know if you actually can get rid of the parasites just by... I don't know if they'll go away on their own. Um, I thought they would. I slept through the night. They stayed on me. So, And they're, um, they're causing me to go through more food and water and stuff like that. Uh, we also need some carbohydrates. So let's do a little bit of exploration out here. Those are grubs and see what we can find. Then we're going to go mess around mud. All right. So I don't know if there's going to be mushroom. I cleared out this whole forest, by the way, one time uh, when I was building out here. I mean, I really cleared this place out uh, <laughs> two, like two seasons ago when I uh, built at this camp. We got to be a little careful here, though, because the um, the natives are a real problem around these these parts. Um, plus I keep forget what I'm looking for and I'm probably passing what I'm looking for, but that's okay. We'll eventually get there. Uh, I'm going to be looking for banana trees, banana trees, banana, banana. I love me some Nana. There we go. All right. Looking a lot better now. Dead bird over there. Not going to worry about that. Yeah, there's this, um... There's this one tree that has these, like, green fruits on it or something. And, like, someone said that'll get rid of parasites as well. And I remember eating that food before. Spider. I don't see him. Do you guys see him? Son of a biscuits. He's probably... I want to kill him. But I don't want to get bit. This is freaking creepy. I hate it when I don't see this guy. He... Damn it. All right, I'm going to have to let him go. Ah, I really want to kill him. The thing is with the uh, with the Goliath spiders, if you kill them and then you put them on a campfire, you burn them, you cook them, and then you burn them. And then you take their ashes and you mix it with bandages, and it's the strongest bandage in the game. So I didn't see him. I, I don't know. Um, kind of blows. Now I'm going to worry that like, when I watch that back, I'm going to see him. And I'm going to be like, oh, he was right there. Man, then, them's the breaks. By the way, where the ever-loving hell are all the mushrooms, man? Like, for real. Hmm. Is this not mushroom season? Is mushroom season over? <laughs> oh, my lord. Okay, I went back and watched the footage. I did see the spider. You can stop at your comments now. Actually, go ahead and comment. It helps my videos out. Uh, yeah, I, I went back and watched him. Dude, he blends in really well. Like, I had to have chat tell me that he was there. And I went back and I watched. And I was like, okay, I did see him. But, man, he's... Ugh, he blends in real well. And like people are like, well, he moves, but a lot of stuff moves. Like, look, the grass is moving. Like, look at all the look at all the things on the screen that are moving. So movement really doesn't help that much. But all right, well, whatever. Okay, so do I have to cook these? I'm gonna go home and save, and then I'm gonna eat one of those straight up and see if I have to cook them. I am 70 to 80 percent sure that these are okay to eat. Um, I remember them being okay to eat back in the day. The only, the only like plant that I really have to like watch out for is the vagina plant. Um, there's a plant that like has petals on it that look like a vagina. And then when it's, and that's, that'll poison you. And then when, um, and then, and then it'll eventually have, uh, have like fruit on it that looks like a phallic image, you know? And then, and that's, that's okay. It sounds kind of sexist, doesn't it? 
right? I mean, am I, am I just reading too much into that? Or, I don't know, probably. All right, let's get ourselves home and let's see if we can eat this stuff. Shut up. All right, guys, I was just heading home and I completely forgot about my parasites. Um, but, and I just passed some mushrooms. Now, hopefully these mushrooms will uh, cure me. I don't know if all, if all the mushrooms cure you or not, but we're going to find out. So let's see. Okay. Mushroom. Well, I've eaten these before. It'll tell me what it does. There you go. Goodbye, parasites. I'm still going to check out those unknown fruit. I'm going to leave the mushrooms alone. I'm not going to pick them when I don't need them because they're just going to go bad. And hopefully I won't have parasites very often. All right. So what I'm going to do now... Oh, so now all the mushrooms. Oh, look at all the mushrooms. They're everywhere. Now that you don't have parasites, you garbage. I hate you. I hate you. Get out of here, birds. Hit the road, Toucan Sam. You know, freaking walk them around here. Wait, why not? What'd they ever do to you? I don't know. Nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and save the game and eat this fruit and see what happens. Save the game. Save the game. Okay. Wow. Dude. 16 carbs, 8 hydration, and negative 2 parasites? That is some sick-ass fruit, man. Let's make some freaking soup. Yeah, boy. Gonna make some soup. That's gonna be great. Why make soup? Cage, what are you making soup for? Why do you care? Well, the soup will uh, make it so it doesn't go bad. Uh, five. That's not gonna do it. Damn it, I took the water out. 25, 25. Get it. Actually, do you even have to cook it? Oh, I don't even have to cook it. I could cook it whatever I feel like. Oh, awesome. How are we doing on this meat? All right, we got one day. How are we doing on our stats? You know what? Eh, we'll save it the hell with it. Let's go ahead and grab something to drink. Actually, we are not going to save it because I'm about to get dirty. And I don't want to be eating while I'm dirty. Old dirty cage eating eating meat. <laughs> just, that just, uh, it doesn't sound right. Okay, so let's get down to the mud. Let's get down and dirty in the mud. Um, I've been told when you pick up the mud, you get all of the um, all of the uh, recipes. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Take the mud. There we go. Mud mixer! Got the mud mixer, bro. What up now? How you like me now? Mud wall. Uh, actually, let's just look at what we got because that's coming in too slow. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, we don't care about that. We don't care about that. Here we go. Mud mixer. Storage box. That's what I really want. The freaking storage box. Mud wall. Mud doorway. Mud window, mud roof. I don't make the mud roof, by the way. Mud fireside wall. This is legit. Yeah, I think the mud update was probably my favorite update. Or maybe the overall building update was my favorite update. I can't decide. Um, then what did we get over here? Uh, yep, mud charcoal furnace. And a, probably a couple other things I got. Maybe the dryer or something I got earlier from one of the camps. And da 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 da! Mud water filter! That thing is freaking unbelievably cool. Uh, the mud shower is pretty cool too. Uh, the problem with the mud shower that I think is stupid is you can't fill the mud shower up by hand. It either rains and you can take a shower or it doesn't and you can't. And once you get into the dry season, you're going to go months without it raining. So, kind of sucks. Uh, uh, stick fish trap, large stick. That, that's stuff I got earlier. Bow traps, yeah. I think I got these two. That's what was in there. Nothing with mud. All right, cool. Let's make the mud mixer. All right, so where do I want to put the mud mixer? I don't think I ever decided. Oh, no, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, it looks like a good spot for it. Throw this over there. And where exactly? I mean, I guess right here. Or over here. I think over here. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll line up a couple of them. Right? 
I only made one last season, but I don't know. Maybe I'll make a couple of them. You're going to need water for the mud uh, for the mud mixer. Quite a lot of water. So if you can set it up, you know, on days you don't really want to, you know, like maybe set it up like, be like, okay, I'm going to do a video tomorrow where I'm going to work with mud. You just set them all up and you let it, you wait for it to rain. And then it'll fill it up. That way you don't have to drag all the freaking water over here. All the freaking water. All right. So pick that up. Get this stuff out of here. Dry leaves. Can always use some more dry leaves. And get rid of these palm fronds. Or palm leaves. There we go. All right, that's looking good. I should probably destroy some of these palm leaves. They're just kind of in the way. I, might, I probably will never use them, but I don't know. I might use them. Who knows? Okay, so where was that mud mixer? That was in here, right? Right at the beginning. There we go. Should I just make two of these right now? Right? Probably. And how would it? Let's do it. Make two. Line them up. Line them up. Now we're going to need a bunch of sticks. And a bunch. Of, oh, God. We need the big logs. Yeah, okay. Well, I got a lot of trees around here. So that won't really um, be a problem for me. Uh, although a lot of these trees I can't cut down. Can't cut this down. Can't cut that down. Can't cut nothing down. Wow, there's a lot of trees in here I can't cut down. What's up with that? What's up with that? All right, let's get some logs. All right, guys, we are back. And I uh, went and slept through the night, got more parasites, cured more parasites. You know, the same same old, same old. Uh, my stats are looking pretty good. I just ate, well, <laughs> kind of good. We need some carbohydrates. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. I did make some stick holders so I could drop sticks off which is pretty nice. And I also started gathering some logs. Uh, didn't get too far with the gathering logs though. We have to go out and get some, get some carbohydrates guys. Um, don't forget I'm playing on like level three of four. So like my stats go down pretty quickly. Um, pretty quickly. I'm kind of regretting it <laughs> to be honest, but at the same time, it does make it feel more like a hardcore survival game, which is kind of what I wanted. So, you know, in the long run, it's fine. But it just feels like it's going to start feeling like busy work. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if I should... Because um, you can't just like... It, it never gets easier. Like getting the carbohydrates never really gets easier. You know what I mean? Like the fact that stuff goes bad. Although I guess I could make soup. I guess what I could do is I could farm a bunch of turtles. Get a bunch of uh, turtle containers. And then make soup. Soup doesn't go bad. And then just, you know, save up soup. I could probably do that. Um... But yeah, I mean, getting food like all the time, it's just like, it takes a lot of time and, you know, it's just like, it's not hard. Uh, although I guess technically I could run into, you know, cougars or whatever and uh, maybe some, some baddies out here. So that's fine. Um, I'm looking at more of a, like a YouTuber standpoint. Like, you know, I'm trying to entertain people and I don't think they want to see me just come out of here and get food every freaking video. And uh, I can't spend hours farming food for a video either. So you guys either have to watch it or I can't do it. Um, well, not, not watch it, but watch some of it. I do have to, I do require you to watch some of it, please. Please. I think I just saw Heart of the Palm, by the way, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. Down you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where are all those bananas, man? Freaking banana trees not giving me bananas. What good is a banana tree that doesn't give bananas? No, it does, good for nobody. It ain't doing nothing for nobody. Stupid fake banana tree with its fake bananas that aren't there. Fucking fugazi banana tree. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got around here. I don't want to head too far this way because it's going to take me into a bamboo area. But I am grabbing sticks. I purposely made that stick holder so I could grab sticks out here. Freaking go to hell, allergies. God, I hate those damn things. I had people asking me at work today, like, if, if, if I was okay. Because I'd be, like, waiting on a customer, and all of a sudden I would go... And they'd be like, oh my god, this guy's having a stroke. And I'm like, no, no, I'm okay, it's just allergies. But, man, it sucks. Oh, bananas. Bananas, bananas. So why, are there, why aren't there, like, a bunch of bananas on these trees? Like, what, what's grabbing these bananas? I don't see any monkeys in this game. Do you? Huh? Do ya? Do ya, Mr. and Mrs. Commentator? Uh, oh boy, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Hells to the freaking yeah. 
let's get back to base. Uh, which way is base? Oh, oh, oh! It's the heart-shaped flower. You know. You know, you know what I'm talking about. That thing will poison you like crazy. And you see these things right here, the phallic ones? That'll turn green. Once they turn green, you can grab that. And I don't know if you can eat it raw, but I know you can uh, at least cook it. Uh, oh, we got the monster energy mushrooms. Oh, I'm going to be bouncing off the walls tonight. Hells yeah, brah. By the way, these things are only for the uh, story mode. Some people told me that. Is that the case? Because if it is... I'm going to be mad. Ugh, don't put something there just for story mode. Let us do something with it too. Let us non-story people do something. Uh, I'd like to get some more, more bananas, but that doesn't look like it's going to be happening. That's all right. This is all about building with mud. And I, I should be okay to play with the mud because I, I won't have to eat for a while. So let's come over here and let's just start dumping some of this wood into that thing. Right. This thing takes like, does it really take like eight per? Ugh, maybe I shouldn't have made two. <laughs> well, whatever. I can always not finish the other one. It's not like I have to. There we go. Four more, please. I wish I could have made this out of bamboo. Like, I got a lot of bamboo. Although, I guess I should save the bamboo for my base. Because my base is going to be bamboo. Hells yeah. I love me some bamboo, bruh. Uh, Trees, trees, trees. There's not a lot of good trees to cut down around here. I mean, there's some, but not a lot. Going right here. Let's get rid of all this crap. Freaking Mother Nature. Go to hell, Mother Nature. Actually, is this a tree that can grow something? I don't know. It's got to go. It's got to go. Get out of here. I don't care. Maybe you're growing the cure for cancer. I don't give a crap. You're in my way. Uh, I will leave that one, though, because that drops the unknown nuts. Although, I really don't need fat that much anymore because I just cook up some bone stew and I'm good to go. I get the bone injection. The hot beef injection. What's that from? Come on, guys. Oh, I can't see anything. Okay. There we go. There you are, you little buggers. Bugger off. God, the stupid freaking nature. Hate you. Uh, okay, so that didn't give me any big sticks. Give me long sticks, which are good. But um, I don't need them right now. So I will just drop them. All right, guys, and we are back. And I have just been doing some more gathering. And I think we're just about ready for this thing to be done. There we go. I hate the way the freaking leaves stick through the floor. Even after you've... Ugh, gross. All right, um... I really don't need to eat anything right now, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go out and play with some mud. Play with some mud. Play with some mud. We got the mud. <laughs> this is like toxic waste mud. This is like isn't this the stuff that uh made Jason Voorhees? Wasn't there like one of the Friday thirteenth where he was like a toxic baby or something? Was that Jason Takes Manhattan or I don't remember. And there we go. And then we just need one more. I definitely want to make the storage box. I was going to make the water thing first, but... Nah, I think... I'm, I don't know, actually. The thing is... The thing is, I have a plan for an ex, a really big base. So I'm like, ah, oh, I want to big, make the base first before I like start putting things in it. But no, nah, we got to put things on the side because we can't wait for the base. Because, you know, we need, we need things. Good. I heard something over there. I don't like that. I don't like when I think I hear things. Yeah, the storage box is awesome. It's realistic enough to where it, it the immersion factor is through the roof, but it's also useful enough where it's not, like, stupid. Like, did you guys ever play um, Sevtech for uh, Minecraft? Do you know the storage boxes work in that? Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan. Um, campfire ash. Campfire ash. We need to let that campfire go out as well next time. Because we got to start saving up some campfire ash. You can also get campfire ash for making like a charcoal smelter thingy or whatever. But, all right, so you can see that's filling up with the rain. So that's awesome. While that's filling up, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start this fire. And I'm going to let it burn out this time. 
I really don't like letting the fire burn out. I got a real problem with that, but it is what it is. All right, this guy's gonna start yelling like a freaking nut job. And there you go. All right, so you, my friend, need some water. All right, and then we will put the palm in there. And we'll let that cook up. Let's uh, let's start refilling our water supplies. Like so. This thing, this thing gathers water very quickly. I like that thing. I like that thing a lot. Although it's not going to help me during the rainy season. Or the non-rainy season, I should say. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drink it. And then we'll do some more. And we'll do the mushroom. Okay, we got to continue gathering water. i got to make sure I do that. Uh, how are we doing now? Yeah, it's all looking good. We'll eat that meat pretty soon. How long do we have in the meat? Oh, we got plenty of time on the meat. That's great. Let's go ahead and have some mushrooms. <laughs> Energy! Unlimited power! I think this is what the... I think this is what... Darth Sidious was um, taking to get his force powers. So, I'm just saying. I'm, I don't know. That's, that's my theory. But, you know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'll write some fan fiction someday. Okay, you take that. There we go. Beautiful. All right, how's that mud doing? Now we're gonna get real dirty. Now we're gonna get down and dirty. Let's make sure we've eaten everything. Uh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, get dirty in the mud. Playing in the mud. Okay, wait, wait, what? I just took a mud bath and I don't and I'm not dirty. What? That was weird. That was really freaking weird. Okay, well, it is what it is, I guess. It's just odd. It's because of the rain, I guess, but you usually get dirty, and then the, the dirtiness comes off as the rain rains on you. It just doesn't, you know, keep you from getting dirty, usually. All right. Uh, do we want to get a storage box or the water thing? Let's see. How much, let's see. We don't have a ton of time left on the video. Let's see how hard the water thing is to make. It's not even in there. It's in here. Oh, you know what? I don't have the charcoal. Yeah, you need big stone. Okay, that's going to take a while. No, we will leave that alone for now. Um, storage box. That's better. All right, so where do I put the storage box? More water, please. All right, so I got three of these lined up right here. I know I was going to put the water collector here, but we're going to have to put it somewhere else. This is this is a really good centralized place to have my storage. I um, really appreciate it. I don't have enough uh, planks to make all three of them. I just wanted to place them down so I knew where they would be. <gasps> Um, but it's a little bit hard to put stuff in the back sometimes with these, but I'll make it work. Mud brick, please. There we go. Oh, it takes one. Nice. 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 I don't have any sticks. Are those big sticks? I think they are. Let's just go ahead and take three of these. There we go. Okay. And now the planks. So do I need those planks in my inventory? I think I do. I don't think there's any way to build it without them. And these things take up an ungodly amount of room. Like, way too much room. Unreasonably large amount of room. So that's kind of annoying, but we'll make it work. Here we go. And boom. And boom! Oh, okay, it's another mud brick. That's fine. I've got mud bricks. I've got mud bricks for days! Not really. I've got mud bricks for minutes. Okay. And there you go. There's our first storage box. Awesome. So what should we put in there? Uh, bones. That's going to be the, that's going to be known as the bone zone. The no the, the no go, the no zone as I used to be as I that was my that was my name in high school. I'd be like, "Hey ladies, you want to come to the bone zone?" and they'd be like, "No, the no zone." Get away from me, creeper. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much about it. All right, so let's come on in here. Let's throw all the bones in here. Oh, I love the storage. Now, you might be thinking, Cage, what are you so excited about storage? Who cares? Like, really? You're going to get a freaking... 
no pun intended, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a boner over the the bone storage. And I'm like, yeah, because I played this game for a long time without any storage at all, and this is huge. This is freaking huge. <laughs> no pun. Man, I got puns. I got puns for days. Wait, can I put that up? Okay, there we go. All right, cool, cool. That is very nice. We got a place to put the bones. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you never enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.